Good morning. Welcome to Kila Chari Torah's daily review of Maimonides 613 Mitzvot for Friday, January 21st. If you've been uh, ch- uh, clicking on every day uh, since uh, six months or so ago when we uh, began, uh, undertook to study all of Maimonides 613 Mitzvahs, uh, you know that we just finished yesterday, and you also know that there seem to be a number of those uh, whose uh, practicability, the applicability to our day-to-day lives here in Canada in uh, the present times is uh, makes us wonder a little bit of a head-scratcher. So we studied them in the hopes that uh, we uh, accrue the merit to ourselves, uh, speaking about the mitzvahs, even if some of them are not uh, able to be uh, done at the very moment, to some of the mitzvahs, uh, particularly to do with the land of Israel, since the, uh, some of us don't live in Israel yet, uh, and also the uh, temple, laws of the temple, because we don't have a temple yet. But hopefully we'll get there and all this will become relevant. Uh, at the end of the section of positive commandments, Rambam himself, Maimonides, makes a list of the, uh, of the positive mitzvahs that, in his view, uh, can be carried out uh, by Jew, can be uh, uh, practiced, done, uh, accomplished by Jews uh, uh, in our times after the temple and outside of Israel, in between the second and third temple and outside of Israel. So we'll take a little bit of time and we will go through those. Uh, so if... 248 mitzvahs and 365 negatives, uh, adding up to 613 seems a little daunting. Let's try this. How about 60? Could you handle 60? The Rambam lists 60 positive commandments that are applicable in his uh, view in our time. An ordinary Jew, regular Jew in the course of life has the opportunity to fulfill these. And you'll see some are every day uh, and some may be just once in a lifetime, uh, if that, and uh, even that not necessarily. So let's take a look at those and see what they are. Uh, uh, mitzvah number one. Uh, these are the Rambam's uh, listing, that, uh, listing of mitzvah, positive mitzvahs that can be done in our times. Number one, believing in God. Uh, very pertinent to our uh, Parsha this week, as we talked about in the Drasha. Number two, belief in the unity of God, uh, uh, affirming the oneness uh, of God. Mitzvah number three, loving God. Mitzvah number four, fearing, having awe of God. Mitzvah number five, worshiping God. Mitzvah number six, cleaving to God, following God's ways. Uh, as we discussed when we came across that mitzvah, uh, as God tends to the sick, visits the sick, buries the dead, uh, and so on, so we do the same. Uh, taking an oath by God's name, number seven, generally speaking, we don't take oaths nowadays. We say if we, we try, when they give you the option, uh, signing a document or uh, 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 administering o- an oath in court, they say, do you swear or affirm? If possible, we choose to affirm. Uh, walking in God's ways, practicing that all of uh, everything that, uh, that we do uh, should, uh, should uh, uh, how can we say, because uh, we don't, we want to be careful not to uh, overlap with uh, number nine, with the next mitzvah, which is sanctifying God's name. So walking in God's ways, uh, let's say that all of our paths should be paths of truth and Torah and peace. Uh, And sanctifying God's name is when we act in such a way that people will think highly of uh, the God of the Jewish people. And we'll stop with number 10, reading the Shema, reading Shema Yisrael, which of course you have an opportunity to do uh, at least several times a day when you lie down and when you rise up. And there are many who say a special Kriyat Shema Alamita, uh, a bedtime Shema said right before retiring for the evening, which has a few supplemental prayers and blessings in it. We'll stop there and we'll continue after Shabbos. Let's just remind ourselves that uh, candle lighting this afternoon is four minutes to five, 4.56 p.m. this afternoon is time for candle lighting. Uh, we, unfortunately, this Shabbat are not gathering in the Shul to Davin and welcome the uh, Shabbat with Kabbalah Shabbos. Were we to do that, it would be five, oh, 5 o'clock. Uh, so if you'd like to Davin together all at the same time, we can try that. Chakras tomorrow morning for those who signed up, 10 a.m., uh, very special Shabbos because we will be reading Parsha's Yisro with the Ten Commandments in it. Maimed Har Sinai, the Jewish people standing as one, uh, as one person with one heart. That will take place in tomorrow morning's uh, Torah reading. Shabbat concludes 6.02 p.m. Uh, please join us for a musical Zoom Havdalah at 6.12 p.m. The link is in your uh, email. And we will have a movie this evening at 8 p.m. Everyone's welcome to join us for that. Have a wonderful Shabbos. Shabbat Shalom. It should be safe healthy, happy, peaceful, joyous uh, for us and for Klal Yisrael wherever we are. Good Shabbos.